Hey guys, uh, I want to show you something pretty cool. We're going to do an RV tour, but I wanted to point out that we are parked at the base of Devil's Tower in eastern Wyoming. Um, and what's really cool is like we are parked like right at the base. There we are. And this is the rig that I want to show you today. This is uh, this rig belongs to the Pope family. Uh, you can follow them at Slow the Heck Down on uh, on Instagram. Uh, really cool family. They're all about like outdoor activities and just hanging with their family. They bike, they fish, they disc golf, they do it all. But I, I don't want to tell you everything about them. I'm going to let them explain it to you. How old are you? Eight. Eight. And we are originally from the Seattle, Washington area. We've been full-timing for almost two years. Yeah, and uh, we're out here at Devil's Tower dry camping. This is our uh, Grand Design Reflection. It's a 311 BHS. And uh, it's about just under 37 feet long. The backstory is um, we're professional wedding photographers. Well, pho professional photographers, but we were specializing in weddings. And um, as the kids got older and we got older, we realized we didn't want to do that forever as our only thing. Um, and the only way out of that was to not have such a high overhead of living costs. So um, we actually saw another family, a uh, crazy family adventure on Instagram. And they were in Baja, Mexico with their, their travel trailer and four kids. So we're like, people do that? And so it kind of, sparked the idea and um, we decided to sell our stuff, all our, our house and all our stuff and hit the road and see how it works for ourselves. Um, we love getting outside, like fishing, disc golfing, paddle boarding. Less time in the rat race and more time out here. So. It's that easy folks, just sell all your stuff <laughs> and just move into an RV. Yeah. It's that easy. So we actually spent like a year researching what RV we wanted and how we wanted to travel as a family. And we ultimately decided on a grand design. We immediately started looking online and there's just not many of them on available online, but we, this one popped up, it was a year old, and they were selling the truck too. And it was just perfect because they had the whole thing set up and ready to go. They were full timing and they were moving on to something else. And so it, it was great. We got the... Uh, Ram 3500 Bighorn with the long bed, and uh, we wanted the single wheel rear wheel just to make it easier to park places since it's going to be our main vehicle while we're traveling. Um, in the back, it has a toolbox with an auxiliary fuel tank, which is awesome for travel days because we can we can get 400 miles down the road without stopping at a gas station to refuel, which can be tricky when you're towing a big fifth wheel. So. That's a big bonus for us. And beyond that, it's a truck, you know? We all fit, we all yeah. ride around in it. It's really nice to have the It's nice to have the leg room. Yeah, like with, we figured the boys are gonna grow. So yeah. <laughs> um, it's really nice to just not be super crammed in there. Um, we could go with this being maybe a little shorter, but that said, it You'd fits to get both of our paddle boards, our kayak, or our outdoor toys. I know a lot of people swear by the mega cabs, but we have an extended cab just like you guys and we've been perfectly fine in it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And just to confirm, this is the uh six seven, correct? Yes. The diesel engine? Yes, okay. It's the diesel, it's the six seven Cummings. All right. Come on in. <laughs> First we're gonna take you up into the master bedroom. Um come on up. We haven't done much in here yet. Uh, we just, honestly, we haven't even painted in here yet. <laughs> but we do plan to at least paint the walls. Um, you'll see in the rest of the rig that we've painted the walls. Uh, what we like about this is the underbed storage, like most RVs. We have replaced the mattress with a sleep number, um, which works pretty well. 
the thing that we don't love about this bedroom is that the storage that we have for clothing and um, medicine and just anything you could think of is what you see right here. So it's just this little bit and then two you know, side tables. And because we're running businesses out of the RV, um, we, you know, we've got like a printer down here and um, laptops. And then this is, you know, pretty limited storage, but this is where, you know, I keep my shorts and pants and um, we've got a drawer each. And then we have one little closet, which I'll show you because you'll see how tight it is. So we share <laughs> this little tiny closet. <laughs> Um, so that's definitely something that if we can come up with a way to get more storage in this rig and just renovate the room, we'll definitely do that. Otherwise, it may be something that prompts uh, an upgrade. So I see that your closet is on a slide. How many slides are on the rig? There's four slides. Okay. Yeah, so this is the smallest one, and then you'll see in the living room the opposing slides, and then one in the boys' room. And there's no AC in the master, uh, right. but... How, how many AC units do you have? We have one AC unit. There is space to put one here if we wanted to. So it comes pre-wired for that? Yes. Okay. Okay, so then from the master, it connects straight into the master bathroom. This is the only shower in the rig, and so everybody uses that. Uh, the rig, our, the previous owners had installed this towel rack, which I love, because um, it just lets everything dry easily. We use Turkish towels, which is also a game changer when you're an RVer. Um, but otherwise, pretty simple. No renovations in here yet. Alright, so this is the main living space and um, one of the things we really enjoy about this particular rig. Uh, as I mentioned before, it has opposing slides, which means that when when we're traveling the slides come all the way up to the the um island here and then when we're parked they open up so that we get that full like 14 feet across which makes a huge difference um and yeah and we just love having like a huge pantry the fridge is a great size it's big enough a lot of us. our friends fridges are you know about this wide and this one is and it is, an R it is an RV fridge, which is great for boondocking and stuff, because yeah. it'll run off the propane, it'll run off electric when you're plugged in, but uh, so even when you're boondocking, it's not using up your battery. Yeah, we definitely did not want a residential fridge. Even though it would have been bigger, it just wouldn't have worked for the way we travel. Um, so yeah, the other cool thing is that it has a dishwasher. So it's a little tiny dishwasher it's that you can Ikea get like, from Ikea. But it's a full, you know, rack. Um, there was space to install it under here. Sorry, it hasn't been run because we're dry camping, but um, it's pretty spacious. It holds a lot of dishes. We went and bought dishes from Ikea so that they would fit um, really well. And um, we like it too because it uses less water, honestly. So. Yeah. And when we're hooked up, we pretty much, it's a, the perfect size to pretty much run like once a day. Like we use our mm -hmm. dishes, it'll fit everything from the whole day. We stick them in and we're not hand washing dishes. It's yeah. really awesome. Washing dishes, like this is what I, is exactly what I want to see because washing dishes is my least favorite RV chore. I, I can't stand it. I'm doing dishes probably a good hour out of the day. So when they built this, it didn't come with a dishwasher that was added later. So they... With that in mind, they included a really nice size sink. It's, it's huge and uh, lots of prep space for cooking and mm -hmm. all that, which is really, you probably take that for granted a little bit, but it's, it's nice. It fit our needs perfectly because I can stand here, prep food, the kids can play outside. It's, I don't know, it's there ideal. That may seem like kind of a weird quirk, but actually, no, being able to cook, I mean, you're spending so much time in a kitchen. So being able to keep an eye on the kiddos outside, that is a huge deal. Uh, that is one thing that we actually don't like about our rig. We aren't huge uh, RV renovators. We, we don't really know what we're doing as far as like redo the whole RV, but we did make updates that made it more enjoyable for us to live. So a few of those are we painted, and by we I mean Gerald. Me. <laughs> Gerald painted um, in the living room and in the boys, the bunkhouse. Uh, we replaced one of the benches with this bench, which is really cool because it stores just some of our supplies, but if we flip over the top, it's actually a table. So for watching 
a movie and want to have drinks, we can put the drinks right there. So it serves two purposes. Um, we replaced the recliner chairs with this little couch from Ikea. We have actually all of our school supplies and craft supplies. Gave us lots of deep so those drawers. drawers yeah, underneath. actually come all the way out to here, um, which is awesome. And our little family of four can fit on there, so that's perfect. Uh, we replaced this light fixture here and refinished this table. The table was stained almost black and we just stripped all the finish off and did a clear polyurethane on it. Uh, just to brighten it up again. I mean, it's, these things are made so dark, it feels like, and anything you can do to brighten them up goes a long way. These were a great find. We actually saw these on another RVer's account. I can't remember who. Um, but these baskets are from Ikea, as are the bars, and they just barely fit. Honestly, we have to take the baskets down to travel, but you can kind of see where we've rubbed the finish off of the trim here. Every once in a while, if we're not totally level, um, it'll hit, but otherwise, um, it slides in perfectly so yeah ikea great find um, and is that is that a full-size pantry right it's pretty yes. big do you want to see how messy it is <laughs> that oh is an incredible amount of storage <laughs> it, it is. is you would think we could keep it more organized but you that's know. not our strong point so it's okay <laughs> yeah we're not very good at organizing things <laughs> Ideas, yes. Things, not so much. <laughs> and I like the layout here because in our rigs, we've always had these uh, couches that are, the TV is perpendicular to the couch. Mm -hmm. um, and I just yeah. found that these tend to be way more comfortable. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. And also we put the TV on like one of those little telescoping things. Um, the fireplace also works. So when we're connected to electric, like when we were in New England and it was getting cold, we were able to run the fireplace and actually heat the house significantly and save money on propane. Guys, if the flies are showing up on this, <laughs> I just want to address this. We are dry camping. You got to cut us some slack. <laughs> the way, like our rig is swarmed with, I think I found a, like three moths in there last night and they were just bugging us all night. Yeah. It, it's a glamorous lifestyle, I promise, but <laughs> we do have flies. All right, so let's go check out the boys' room. Uh, we actually did a good bit of work in here and, and changing how it was set up. The biggest thing we did was we built out the bunk. It originally came down, came with like a really lightweight flip down bunk and a couch underneath. Um, and so we pulled all that out and built all of this custom. So we got these shelves with all the extra storage underneath. We uh, put in the railing and the framing here. Found these really cool rock climbing, wooden rock climbing holds to put on there for them to climb in and out. The handle here is just, you know, like piping, normal piping from Home Depot. And then uh, Erica made these Velcro curtains. They're completely blackout. Like anything we can do to help our kids sleep in is a bonus. Um, so she added those in there. Um, obviously we painted the walls to brighten it up. Um, and we added these shelves, these floating shelves is wood that we found and reclaimed from my grandfather's farm. So I, I have no idea how old that was. It's from some old piece of farm equipment. Um, but I thought that was a fun little touch. We added a little sunken bookshelf here to add some more books. It kind of just stole a little bit of space from the outdoor kitchen. And then one more shelf up here. It even has like an original bolt that's still embedded in the wood there. And another curtain on this side. And then over here we have a half bath, which is nice. They can get their own toilet dirty and leave ours alone, which is a nice, a nice bonus. So Gerald, uh, what I've noticed is that this is a, a rear bunkhouse. Um, and the mid bunks are very popular, but, but this is actually much bigger. Uh, this is a right. much bigger floor space than a, a it is. mid bunk. It is. I mean, we have, we have a decent amount of floor space here and, and by raising this up, it gives us a little bit more where they can crawl in there and play around too, which is nice. I mean, at some times it does feel a little bit cramped. It'd be nice to have a little bit more clothing storage for them. Um, everything that we have for them is under the steps here. Um, it, there's always something better somewhere else that you think, oh, I wish I had this or that, but this has really worked pretty well for us. We have a 
pretty simple setup when we're boondocking. Like we really try to not do it too much if it's going to be terribly hot um, because we don't have enough solar to run an AC or anything like that. We've got a very simple setup, just a couple panels to keep our batteries from dying, but it gives us enough to like, you know, turn the lights on when we're getting ready at night and uh, keep our fridge running. And that's really all we need for the solar stuff. And if we really have to get the temperature down, we'll run the generator. And, and beyond that, it's, it's as simple as that for boondocking. There's not much to it. Now I've noticed you got the, the Predator 3500, which is a really popular uh, yeah. generator with full timers. Yes. Do you have anything good, bad, neutral to say about it? Uh, it? I feel like it takes a little bit of maintenance to keep it running smoothly. Like every probably eight to 12 hours, it'll just kick off and I've got to go and like clean some stuff and get it running again. But as long as you're changing the oil on schedule and keeping things clean, it's been great for us. Okay, did you buy the Harbor Freight prote Protection Plan? No, actually, oh, that's, that's one of the things, like this actually, that's one of the things the previous owners threw in for us. They okay. threw in so much stuff. They threw in the solar panels and the solar charger and the generator and a ton of other stuff. Um, so we got what we got. So this model does have a full pass-through storage like like most fifth, wheel, fifth wheels do. Uh, we're moving today, so we just won't open that up right now. Um, back here, we do have an outdoor kitchen slash storage unit. Like <laughs> We don't really cook in it much because a lot of times when we park, like the back end will be high and the cooking services end up being like this high and you can't cook on that. So we, we most of the time we just use it for storage and junk and Erica's shell collection, which she just keeps adding to and we're running out of space so it just keeps going wherever it fits. And hey, it's and my a, shell collection, your arrowheads, okay, yeah. we've got arrowhead. So. Okay, so um, I, I definitely wanted to see these. So this is not actually an arrowhead, this is a... No, that's just So place. do you want to throw some arrowheads in there? <laughs> yeah, so Gerald has been making arrowheads oh uh, with our kids. Yeah. since we've been dry camping See, and it's actually yeah, really here's, impressive here's one that's in process like we picked up this rock in south dakota here and yeah we're, we're working on it so <laughs> so yes we have a few collections i mean like gerald said there's rocks and shells in here um shells here actually big conch shells from the keys in here bigger appliances out here and then we do use the outside fridge that's pretty much the only part of the kitchen we use um, we would rather have more space inside, uh, but it is what it is. So, <laughs> yep. so what, I've, what I've noticed about uh, full-time traveling families is if you don't have an obnoxiously large rock collection or shell collection or combination of the two, you're just, you're not a full-time RV family. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's no other work around. Eric is a big fan of biking. My kids love biking. Uh, biking's okay. But uh, we had to figure out a way to bring our bikes along. We, initially when we launched, we had like a cheap bike rack and uh, not the best cover. And the bike rack really just beat our bikes up because in the back of a fifth wheel is like the roughest place you can attach a bike rack and it just bounces all over the place. So we got like a really solid bike rack by Swagman. It's the Swagman quad uh, it's a sweet bike rack I, I can lock each individual bike on and it's pretty quick and easy to get things on and off it's just heavy that's the only downside but it's been awesome for us um, and then this cover is really great too it's made for transportation so there's a lot of the bike covers are just made for like height like putting it under your porch outside this is for driving down the road it's really solid I don't remember the name of it but we can send us a some... message we can tell you yeah so this, this uh, cover is really nice because it cinches down over the hitch. It cinches down to uh, tie up all the slack with these buckles. Um, it just looks like a really well-made cover. And yeah, it comes with these bungees too that cinch it down. It's great. Uh, so this rig does come with a six-point auto-leveling system. Uh, it's really been great for us. We ha really haven't had any issues with it. Every now and then in a funky spot we'll have to like manually level it, but for the most part it's been pretty solid and it keeps it pretty level. We don't really notice the kids too much in the back unless they're jumping off the bunk beds. That kind of 
shakes everything anyways, but... Uh, and I noticed you have the uh, the JT strong arms yes. braces. Do you like those? Okay, in all honesty, like we never tighten them down, which means they're not doing anything. They're just decorative. Uh, but every now and then, if we're going to be somewhere for a few weeks, we'll cinch them down just to a little bit of extra. I haven't noticed a difference. But if your rig is shaky, give them a shot. Like ours is pretty solid with the six point. So Erica, right behind you, uh, oh, I yes. see your map. <laughs> yep. We, we got to show off your map. Yes, okay. definitely. Two years of travel, it looks like you guys have actually covered quite a bit. <laughs> we've covered a bit, but we've uh, we've moved fast through certain parts and slow through certain parts. So we've definitely spent a lot of time over on the East Coast and in South Dakota, ironically. Yeah, this portion um, of the trip here is like three weeks total. Yes, we did that in so, three weeks. <laughs> so we did that with the thought in mind of we're coming back to like really spend some time there. But mm -hmm. We've spent, you know what, a third of the time here, <laughs> mostly yeah. in the Keys. <laughs> it's a vortex. Yeah. It, is. it sure is. But we spent a lot of time we up did. in New England and up and down the coast. And it's, I think we spent four or five good. months up here. And you know, we just, we miss places. Actually, we went to New Hampshire. We need to put that on. We got a, we got a few to, Yeah, we got so, a few to fill in. Yeah, so we miss a few spots, but we try not to worry about it. Um, something that somebody and you guys told us early on was just that you, are going to miss places and if you worry about that you'll drive yourself crazy and it's better just to enjoy where you are when you're there and know that you can always come back so now i tell people that they're not going any place i mean as long as we take care of them the national parks are not going anywhere <laughs> honestly like our goal is to just go cool places and have fun our goal is not to like fill in every sticker it's just or to visit every national park or... just to do our thing and have fun yeah a lot of times um we actually skip like the state parks or the national parks and end up going to disc golf courses instead which is part of why we spent so much time in the northeast because they've got incredible disc golf courses um, we find that those are awesome hikes we see beautiful places and way fewer crowds <laughs> Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that RV tour. Um, man, I'm super envious of that dishwasher. Uh, be sure to follow the Popes on Instagram at slow the heck down. Um, they, they're just an awesome family. They're all about just spending time with their kids, having a great time outdoors. Uh, they're really doing the thing. Um, they are both professional photographers, so their Instagram is just, it's beautiful. You gotta check it out. Be sure to check out our lives on Tuesday, and our uh, our edited videos are published every Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we got a lot of great stuff coming up for you guys, so be sure to check it out.